when I grew up, we used to have preaching competitions. But if you couldn't preach extempore from the Bible for two hours without notes, without thinking of it in advance, you would never win. And we used to score people like they score ice skaters, right? I mean, this is a Welsh tradition. Now, the secret of doing that is you give Bible quotes, you give a bit of science, you give a practical story, you just throw lots of things in place in multiple sequences that nobody can disagree with you. And then, oh my God, they fall down and worship. That's the mechanism. So the secret is to use humility as a weapon. Use humility as a weapon. Because if you're controversial, people can disagree with you. You string together platitudes and truisms so that nobody can disagree with you, which means they become a follower. And that is really dangerous. And what they're doing, basically, massive word and concept dropping and reinforcement of each other. Oh, I think that too. Well, that's brilliant. Or have you seen this? And it, it is that preaching competition. It's dropped lots of things in to impress people, but don't actually weave it into a coherent pathway which can be criticised. And when somebody weaves things into a coherent pathway, it can attract criticism. And generally, it won't be perceived as humble because it's going to say things some people don't want to hear. We need an educational system which actually forces people to confront different things, to confront different things. Every week from the age of 11 to 18, I had to argue for something for seven minutes without notice, even if I disagreed with it. Yeah, in front of a class, confront different things. That made me hypercritical. It was a process which made me critical and made me see things. That's the sort of intervention we need. It's micro interventions which get people to see things from different perspectives. It's not admonitions from the latest guru to be a, an enlightened one. It's micro interventions which get people to see things from different perspectives, confront different things, see things from different perspectives.